So what will it take to get Pakistan to admit to what is plainly apparent to the entire world, least of all India? We've got Sayyid Tariq Pizada, strategic affairs analyst, joining us live from Islamabad. We also have Commodore G.J. Singh joining us from Bangalore. Maruf Raza is live with us from Gurgaon and Brigadier. V. Mahalingam, defense analyst, is with us in our Delhi studio. Sayyid Tariq Pizada, what will it take? You have the confessions of this terrorist. You've got him detailing how he received training in Muzaffarabad, how he crossed over the border, how he was received by his Lashkar handler here, how he was given equipment. And yet you say that he doesn't even belong to you. You've got your own reporters who've reached his house and said, yes, this is where he belongs. His father has said that he was taken away from us and now we fear for our lives. Well, it is an interesting story that you have come up with. You know, fabricating a story is the art in which the Indian media, Indian raw, Indian, uh, you know, intellectuals, they all excel. And here is the proof of that. Number one, you said that this guy is from, uh, you know, city, from the city of Faisalabad. Uh, here is, the, I said, where is the ID card? Yes, somebody said on the television yesterday, well, the uh, terrorists don't carry ID cards. Okay. I said, where is the gun? The first day when, you, when, in, when the Indian uh, media, you know, seized on this story uh, like a hawk, I was waiting that a gun will be shown that was recovered from him. Number three, this guy was not captured by the Indian armed forces or the paramilitary forces. He was captured by whom? By, by, uh, by, the, uh, by the ordinary villagers in, in an area. If he was a hardcore terrorist trained by ISI or LET, I think he should have shot down or killed how, uh, the whole of the village uh, before he would be captured by Very interesting any, because, uh, because, civilian because Mr. P. Zada seems to so, be suggesting, uh, Maruf, so, that we so actually when, kill two of our BSF Jawans just so that we could support this supposed theory that the Indian raw and intelligence agencies have cooked up. Uh, I have a small question to Mr. Pizada. Please tell me, Padmaja, in what way does Padmaja. this prove that he doesn't belong to Pakistan? Padmaja. You wanted him to carry an identity card and come and give it to us. Was that the point that you were mentioning? Apparently, and also display his gun when, and possibly the gun would have made in forces, Pakistan given to me by the Lashkar written let, on let, it. Let, yeah, let me answer that. Good question. Here's the answer. With hundreds of thousands of para, uh, paratroopers, uh, uh, paramilitary forces from the Indian side combing every inch of the LOC or the other uh, working boundary, any international border, with fence running all around, with uh, mines, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, planted every inch of the way. You are talking about a guy walking from a wealthy, from coming from a wealthy family of uh, you who are, who are uh, the media reported that this guy came from a, uh, from a family that ran the business of selling cloth in Faisalabad. Faisalabad is known uh, as the, uh, you know, uh, house of the uh, textile in Pakistan. That's where the industry is. No, 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 please do not spell, family, do not, do not you, spread falsehoods. Can, do not I, spread I falsehoods, you, Mr. Pizada. I tell you, now you're, he would not be stupid enough to do this job for, uh, not even for a, a single penny. Okay, okay, so let, let Maruf come in with his open comments and then I'll go across to Commodore G.J. Singh. Yes, Maruf. What an elaborate so, plot. It really so takes Maru. someone very, very inventive to be sitting there in uh, raw Padmaja, to cut this entire plot. Padmaja, 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 uh, we know from our past experience, the last one week and even last several months and years, you will not get an admission either from Mr. Pirzada or from the establishment Perhaps somebody who is a little more honest about such things in Pakistan will someday come out with it. Like Mr. Kosha came out with it. There are people with integrity and conscience in the media, in the public space, even in the government. I don't say everybody in the establishment there is out and out, uh, you know, somebody who is going to fabricate evidence. But it will come out in some case of time. We are not going to get a public admission. That's one. But anyway, Mr. Pizada has his strong points. My counterpoints are as follows. One is, if the military is swarming all parts of the LOC and the IB, which is the case on both sides, two issues. One is, 
how does a militant from the other side come across out here unless there is some kind of a push and some kind of connivance of the military paramilitary You just contradicted yourself. You just contradicted yourself. You said there are armies No, no, just come to... Sir, if Pakistan... Sir, will you let me, Mr. Pirzada, Mr. Pirzada, Mr. Pirzada, Mr. No, 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 Mr. Pirzada, see, Padmaja, Padmaja, you have to reduce his volume. Padmaja, you have to reduce his volume or I'm not going to take part in this debate. The problem with the Pakistani Please, if you ask a question, they make, let me You answer. allow them to make their point, oh, but you don't, Mr. I mean, the, the Mr. Pizada, give me two minutes. You've given your part of the story. I'm just telling you, if this people are swarming show, on both sides, the they would have come in with connivance from okay. your side and on our side. Mr. Pizada, hear me out. Mr. Pirzada, will you, will you for a moment, will you for a moment give me a minute to speak? All I'm saying, there are parts of the fence, particularly where the rivers run from India to Pakistan. They get washed out in the months of monsoon and this is used to an advantage by infiltrators. Exactly. One, point two, that in Pakistan's case, you look back into your entire history of denials from now right to 47. Whether it was General Akbar Khan who led the invasion of 47, who later wrote his memoirs, whether it was Gawar Ayub Khan in 1965, whether it was General Shahid Aziz who admitted to your militant story in Kargil and later, you know, opened the lid on Musharraf's plans. There is a deni denial pattern. My issue is Padmaja, a bigger one. We are not going to get any commitment or concern or any rebuttal from Pakistan worth our while. We have to collect this evidence and go international. They think a BBC well, report I, which allegedly says Indians were involved in financing the MQF in Karachi is an article of faith. Falsehood. But this entire Not video evidence, facts. entire set of evidence, including phone numbers, including addresses, is you not good, good enough for them. Man, so you're wasting your time you're trying to get an admission man. from the Pakistanis. It will be better. It will be better to get Indians to tell you and tell the government how to penalize and punish Pakistan. Because unless Absolutely. Pakistan feels the pain, Pakistan's not going to fall in line. Please understand and, that. And, and maybe it's because of all this evidence, Maruf, that, that right now Pakistan conflict. is so there cagey, is even pressure, about the dates of the there NSA is and pressure, because there is they know that they have all of this evidence. Group there is Captain Hali, funding. Group there Captain Sultan and Hali also joins us now. Maruf, just a second. Group Captain. Group Are Captain Hali, in the past, you've the presented very had. reasoned arguments. Even you would admit but that no. given a video, a video confession of a man who's been captured, whose antecedents have been proven, whose father has spoken on the phone and said, yes, I am the unfortunate father, now I fear for my and my family's life. The least Pakistan should do, if it wants to be taken seriously, is to admit that, yes, we have this, these people on our soil, there are terror camps being run, but we'll deal with it. Group Captain Hali. Wow. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for asking me. Uh, okay. We accept that you have carried out a very good sleuthing work. You have carried out a very good investigation. And whatever are the results and the findings of your investigation, they are very welcome. We will examine them and we will look at them and try and uh, analyze them in the light of the evidence hard evidence which is available in Pakistan and if you are right the perpetrator of the crime will be brought to justice let there be no doubt about that so uh, I, I don't think that we should be fighting about it on the television or we should be fighting about it in the media you have made a point let us accept it and let us go forward in a civilized manner rather than raising our voices well, Group Captain Holly, thank you. Thank you for at least accepting that, yes, there is evidence. But Commodore G.J. Singh, so how much very, hope can we really Ambuja, have of what Ambuja, Group Captain Holly is saying? Maruf, just a, a second. Let me also draw in Commodore G.J. Singh for his opening comments. But Please give me a minute. It's it's a very Adam reasonable ja, response. Give me a minute. And I think I, I support what ask. the Group Captain says. I support what I, the Group Captain says. I think it's a very reasonable I, response. Yes, Commodore G.J. Singh, how much hope can we really Marie, have of but, anything like yeah, this happening when we know what yeah. happened to the 2611 trial? I, Padmaja, first of all, I want to ask the honorable guests from Pakistan, Pirzada and Sultan Ali, will any father 
disown his own blood and flesh, his own son under similar circumstances. Will Pirzada do it? Will the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mr. Navi Sharaf, will he disown his son under similar circumstances? No. It is a matter which has to be seen from the humanitarian point of view also. His father, Muhammad Yaqub, is a crushed man today because he was pleading with the media of Pakistan and India both. In fact, the worldwide, the global media, he was pleading, please don't call me because my life and my family's life is under threat. He is unable to sleep even. That is why he was pleading with the people, with the pleading with the people that please don't Peer call Zada, me. These are your own citizens who now fear that. for their life from Number your two. intelligence agencies. Number and you're two, talking about to... Indian intelligence cooking up this Number... entire plot. Yet your citizens are today running scared for their lives because you've drawn his son, his 22-year-old son, into terror attacks in, on India. Yes. No. I, I want... Padmanja... I want to tell that will they be able to answer this timeless truth of life? Mr. Pizada, would you like to respond? Is there any answer it? Yeah, let me answer. Oh, you're talking to me, right? Yes, Mr. Pizada, yes. go ahead. Pizada. Yes, here, go ahead. here is the answer. You know, I, I started by saying that the Indians are excellent fabricators of lies and they know how to, uh, you know, cook up a story. And they did, it, they did a good job, but they failed on two fronts. Number, two, they, uh, number one, they could not explain how a guy of that age would cross uh, the whole territory. Mr. Pizada, who's Mohammed Yaqub? Mr. Pizada, who's two, Mohammed Yaqub? Number two, they could not. Who they is this man, Mohammed Yaqub, whose exact words were, has, I'll be killed. Three, the Lashkar is after us number and three, the forge is three. after us. Hold on a second. Who is this man? Hold on a second. He's according Hold to you an second. agent of the you law. gave a lot of time yeah. to your side. Let me finish. Mr. Pizada, who's Mohammed Yaqub? If you're talking about stories and lies and fabrication, has the raw suddenly managed well, to get this man, Mohammed Yaqub, you into your country to speak on your country's your behalf? Side, you turned him into a Pakistani. Do you know what the Nadra, the ID administration of Pakistan has said? He, they said, we have already mm. looked into our record. There is no such name or the name of the father. Interesting you should bring that up, Mr. Pirzada. Interesting you should bring that up Pakistan. because it's a so fact. And I want to get in okay, Brigadier Mahalingam on this point. Okay. Nadra, your agency has been accused of providing fake passports and IDs to terrorists. The very agency who you're citing right now, Brigadier Mahalingam, is itself suspect. Absolutely. This entire lot of fabrication look, keeps look, on going. Is, and, look, look, your problem is... Sir, your media no, has reported no it. With us. Mr. P. Zada, your media you has reported it. Very rightly it's brought up. You discussed. are in a denial it's mode and you will continue to deny. Now, I, I on the agenda. You know, Mr. P. Zada, Mr. P. Zada just give me a second. We just just, it, just, I just uh, have a question to the... I just have a question to Wing Commander. We just raised it at the ASEAN Forum. You guys Mr. Pizada, know, just a second. You to death until eternity for the sake of Kashmir. So you Mr. Pizada, what are you talking about? You just quoted else. Nadra. Let me give you a few facts, Mr. Pizada. The fact is, number one, only half of your citizens, the you total population of your country, only half of it is even registered under Nadra. The second point is terrorists that who were killed by your army that on Pakistani soil statement. were found with fake IDs on that them, which were traced back to the agency statement. you've just that quoted. You are this the suspect agency is your reason sheer for sheer disbelieving falsehood. what a man is saying the, on Mr. Nadra. Mr. P. Zada, if sheer falsehood. Mr. P. Zada, if this man, Yaqub, is not from even Pakistan, even if he's not your citizen, the then what, what is your problem? Why don't you allow the media and the press to go to his village and investigate? Why don't you allow these people to go and investigate? If he is not there, why are you trying to cover them up? I just want Look to know. Guys, and secondly, I have a question for the wing commander. Kashmir, wing commander spoke Kashmir in a very conciliatory mode. But I want we to ask him, sir, what By the question is... You can keep coming up with the stories of some Udampur and Gurdaspur attacks. 
these oh, stories you are said. very good you brought a beautiful story of after the kargil war you your president brought a Pakistan. wonderful story I'm not worry so about therefore it. as far as story is concerned we are only second to you we cannot so guys, overtake you in stories you guys as far also let me ask leading 1.3 billion indian people no you you are media your president later on accepted I this kargil was by you I it is you who fabricated just a second just a second you're talking about lies mr tariq pizada maru fraza isn't it a fact that there Bunch were id lies. cards on the soldiers kind of the pakistani soldiers who were killed in kargil and even then pakistan refused to accept the bodies of their own soldiers with the id cards being produced and now mr yeah. pizada sits there and says where's the identification we know we know that you are still counting the bodies of your soldiers finish the counting mr pizada mr pizada padmaja yes maruf go you see if you padmaja padmaja if you keep having mr pizada giving his constant denials it just establishes the fact that not only does denial. he live in a state of denial you know but equally denial. importantly is he make, he says mr pizada they say we fabricate evidence mr pizada and the others are compulsive liars history has proved that I don't have to reiterate the facts. They can go over We all the evidence that's available in India-Pakistan relations. And the most, uh, I think no, uh, Mr. Pirzada, you can keep making allegations. Mr. Al Mr. Pirzada, you are you are known you are known to be in Pakistani circles. In Pakistani circles, you are known to be, known to be a, a lackey of the ISI. So don't call me a raw agent. It will not rub on me. Anyway, the more important issue, Padmaja, if you tone down the value of Pizada, then we can have a discussion. Otherwise, otherwise, it is just going to be an endless shouting match, which times now discussions are. Watch so the language. you have, you have to, you have to tune them down to allow us to speak. You know, cut down this volume. Otherwise, just let them keep abusing India on an Indian channel if that is what you want. No, no, absolutely. You have to allow us to make our points. I am not running you down. I am just contradicting what you are saying. You are basing your entire argument on a constant state of. denial i am basing my argument on a set of facts fact one is that the entire 2611 operation was orchestrated by you fact two is this guy who's just been caught the other guy who was killed with him was the adc of the lashkar e toiba chief hafiz said for a while he was his bodyguard and fact three is that your lashkar e toiba and your armed forces are hand in glove because they want to keep india engaged while your army attempts to discipline the taliban fact 4 is that your armed forces have decided they do not want to have peaceful relations with india because it contradicts their very interest whether the budgetary allocation whether the idea that they are the guardians of the pakistani state whether the political clout they enjoy that will be continue to be the state and finally the fact is that mr nawaz sharif whatever is good will he doesn't count something better in the scheme of things in pakistan he may have a working relationship with your army chief but let us not expect anything from mr nawaz sharif in the coming months as far well as bilateral issues go because such pin pricks will continue by those who don't want us to progress further to that extent i respect the opinion of the distinguished wing commander who had said that give us the facts we'll come back with our responses i have a feeling that the wing commander is an honest man in as much as mr pizada is a compulsive liar that's okay, it group group captain group captain <laughs> sultan m hali i want to bring you in now you oh, said maybe it's time to face the facts and if pakistan really does want to face the facts why are you still so evasive on the dates for the nsa level talks india has over the last one month tried its best to reach out to pakistan there's a feeling now that there is a deliberate attempt to try and frustrate those efforts no my dear uh, i think you got it slightly wrong first of all okay uh, you see why are you and i being the judge jury and executioner in this particular case 
okay, you have caught somebody, you claim that he is a Pakistani, you also claim that you have talked to the father, you also claim to have reached the address. F fine, all that can be accepted. But the f point remains that instead of having a media trial, our national security advisors are hopefully meeting on the 24th and 25th of this month. And you are saying that for the last one month you've been trying to reach us. We are there. I mean, our, our government, our, you see, uh, the uh, D Director General's military operations, they have a hotline and so on. Why don't we talk about these things Sir, in that a is civilized the point. manner, present Group our Captain cases? Halley, that is the point I'm trying to make, that there is, a, there is an attempt on the part of certain elements within Pakistan to ensure that this meeting doesn't take place. A, your foreign office still hasn't confirmed on the dates. I want to bring in Brigadier Mahalingam also on this. B, you have these repeated incursions. You have terror uh, uh, attacks. You have ceasefire violations happening. So while there are, there are people like you who want the engagement to continue, there are others who are unfortunately stronger in Pakistan who want to do everything possible to ensure that there are no normal relations. Brigadier Mahalingam. The point is, you see, when the Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif was if, coming if, if, in if, 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 to Delhi for, to attend the swearing-in ceremony of uh, the Prime Minister, you notice till the last moment the clearance was not given. The clearance is to come from the Pakistan army. That precisely is happening. Now, if you also go back and see that all these events, successive events that are taking place right from Gurdaspur to what is happening today, these are all orchestrated by the ISI and the Pakistan army primarily to ensure that this talk doesn't go through because Pakistan is aware that when the national security advisor of Pakistan is going to come here, India will no doubt present facts to him. Exactly. Maybe that he will be, will be confronted with this man. If that is the case, they don't want to be embarrassed. And secondly, Pakistan's military and the ISI has no reason or no compulsion to have any better relationship with India. Absolutely. And Group Captain Hali, you're talking about the meeting between the NSA. Now, when Mr. Uh, Sattar, if Sanjaya, he does come, I just a second, just, just, just a second, Group Captain Hali, let me also quote to you from the preliminary probe report of the Jammu and Kashmir police, which said very clearly, whereas during the course of preliminary investigation, it transpired that the terrorists involved in the attack are trained fidaeens and backed by Pakistan's ISI in order to wage war against the government of India. So there are people like you who are saying, yes, let's talk. But then there are people like the, uh, the gentleman sitting next to you, Mr. P. Zada, who refuses to even believe that this is true. This is happening. There is no recognition of the problem, Group this Captain This is a Ali. falsehood. You are making an assumption that what has happened in Odhampur... Mr. P. Zada, maybe you should that take the advice of, of Mr. That Hali sitting right next to you. Padam Jha, I will explain the facts, sir. Padam Jha. You never get that argument from me. Padam Jha, I... I gave Badam you. Ja, I gave I you want three to tell crushing group points, captain Sultan and you have not been able to answer I, any one I, of them. Peer Dada, will you please let others speak also? Question, I, I Why are you living in voodoo land, Sultan Mr. Peer Zada, you are constantly I, I living want... in voodoo land. We've answered all your questions. I've asked you questions. You have no answers. One and then you just I keep making the same set of denials. What an embarrassment! One person. Yes, Commodore Mr. P. Zada, you are living in the black hole. You see the light and deny it. You guys killed 2,000 Muslims. You see the sunlight and call it a bloody lamb. Who is serving as the Prime Minister of India. What are you talking about? You Mr. P. Zada, just a second. No, no, Mr. P. Zada, no, you will not make these people call for statements. This is the mindset you have. I don't know why you invite him again and again. This is Mr. his mindset. Just a second. Can you talk Mr. to a person Mr. like Pizada? Can you talk to his aid? You cannot. Neither you on television, time. nor in Hyderabad House, have... nor in Islamabad. The best Mr. thing is talk. isolate the damn chat. Talk to Washington. Talk to Washington. The Washington. It was Washington that imposed restriction on the bloodletting that took Mr. place. Mr. Pizada, just a second. Mr. Pizada, I am making this last attempt to Minister. try and I, ask I, well, Maru well, has Mr. Pizada, made a quite specific I give you the benefit of doubt. Are you willing to answer I give you the benefit of doubt. I think, Mr. Pizada, I give you the benefit of doubt because I think you might know because you have such a pronounced American accent that your friends in the U.S. must be keeping you in. 
reform. So I give you the benefit of doubt oh, you that you might from know from your American friends from whom you've picked up this wonderful accent. Accent, accent, accent. Mr. Pizada, Mr. Pizada, I'm making a final yourself. attempt. Mr. Pizada, please. Padam there are four questions I, I, that Maruf has posed Padam to you. Ja. Are you willing to answer those questions point by point? Please let let's well, not go off not into a tangent. Any question. He has, in he fact, has asked you four questions. Charges. Let me, for your he benefit, repeat them. Mr. Pizada, if you give me a Pakistan second, sir. Should, should I repeat them? Yes, the Mr. Pizada, just a second. Since you missed out, Maruf will quickly garbage. recap for you the four Badam questions Badam that he had raised. Maruf, yes, very quickly. Mr. Pizada, hear him. Badam Jack, can I Mr. Pizada, for your, for your information, question one. Question one. That why is it that your Lashkar e Toiba has such close bonding with your military headquarters? I'll give you three examples. General Shuja Pasha was the first person to meet Zikrul Lehman Lakhvi in the Adiala jail when he was arrested. Sir, let me complete. You've asked for the questions. Now you're not even letting me ask. You're not even letting me ask, ask the question. So what's the point? You are fabricating certain things that don't exist in reality. There is no right, relation. Maruf, I think, I think, I think it's a lost cause. I'm not cause. saying it. Cause, really. Mr. Pa Mr. Mr. Pizada, if you're Mr. not... Mr. Pizada, hold on, hold on. I only, hold on. unlike you, unlike you, I only quote facts. And facts, and facts, Mr. Pizada, see, Padmaja, that's the problem with this chat. No, Mr. Pizada, I'm sorry. I'll have to Mr. ask you to be honest because you're not... Don't get into rhetoric. You're not going to listen to... Don't get into rhetoric. Talk to, talk to me about facts. I am asking you questions. I am asking you questions which is based on facts published in the public domain. I am not talking about some phone call that I received from Rawal Pindi. Look at your faces. You are not willing to take questions. No, it, no, just Pizada, please, it just please, shows. It just shows how guilty you are. Slanging match, please, Mr. Pizza. Are you willing please. to take my questions? If I'm you are, to request and you be to a please. gentleman and listen. Blessing that I see on your cheeks, your uh, and your eyes. Mr. Pizza, please. I will really have to turn down your volume if this is if you're going to persist in doing this. Commodore Jijay Singh. Commodore Jijay Singh, yeah, my question to, to you yeah, is that yesterday, I, I by announcing that they are going to boycott to make, the conference of the to, CPA, India has answer. seemed to draw the red I, line. I Should this define any Captain further Nadi. engagement between so India and Pakistan? I gave you three explanations and you could not uh, contradict I, each one I, of them in my Mr. Pizada, please, can we have the other speakers Mr. go on? Yes, Commodore Jijay Singh. Please stop. Please yeah. go right ahead. I, I, go right want, ahead. To ask, I already, want to ask. Padma Jai, I've contradicted him. Sultan Ali. I've contradicted him in para chapter and verse. Sultan Ali has just now mentioned that we should be talking peace. The NSS are going to meet and there should be a dialogue. He has been talking about good intentions. I want to ask this honorable guest that. Agreed, but is there any translation of this on the LOC? The LOC speaks a different story altogether. Hmm. So where is where is the where is the uh, time? Where is where is the where are the uh, NSA and the peace talks go? Because absolutely, and Group Captain Hali, let me add to that question. Let me add to that question is, before, I, I, before I let you him. respond. Group Captain Hali, we have got this constituency to which you also belong in Pakistan, who are in favour of continuous engagement. But then we have Pakistan do something as petty as not involve, not invite the Speaker of the Jammu and Kashmir Legislative Assembly, an elected assembly, for a conference that is to be hosted in Islamabad. How is India supposed to expect that our gestures are being reciprocated by Pakistan when something like this happens? Ultimately, we are forced to draw the red line and say we will boycott the conference. Group Captain Hali. My dear, you see the case of inviting the Speaker of the Jammu Kashmir Assembly and Pakistan's denial to do so is based upon a principle. And the principle on which Pakistan stands that we do not recognize Jammu and Kashmir as part of India. We recognize it as a disputed territory which has been declared so by the United Nations. We haven't done so. You see, we had a war in 1947 and 1948 and it was Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru who went to the United Nations and the United Nations passed resolutions and according to those resolutions... Sir, I'm Kashmir sorry, I again beg to differ on that and there territory. are factual inaccuracies in that stand. I would like to uh, have Brigadier Mahalingam respond to uh, that and then Maru. Group Captain, as far as this uh, uh, beating is concerned, let me first of all say the Kashmir 
legislative assembly's speaker has attended the meeting two years back. That must be, first of all, known to you. Secondly, Pakistan is inviting the guests on behalf of the Come United well. Nations organization. It is not for Pakistan to decide whom to invite and whom not to invite. It is, therefore, you must understand, Pakistan is playing petty politics in this, partic politics in this particular issue, and this cannot be continued. If which which almost that, gives rise to the feeling, Maruf, that this is a deliberate attempt to try and test India's patience. Well, Padmaja, as far as I understand, Pakistan will use every international opportunity to internationalize the Kashmir issue that has been apparently Mr. Nawaz Sharif is again going to bring it up in a in a big way at his speech at the UN. We are prepared for it. The point to understand is that while Pakistan says that Kashmir is a disputed territory, that has been their consistent stand all along. Though the UN resolution doesn't specifically say that, it says there is a dispute between India and Pakistan. It, and Kashmir is one no, of the areas mis, primarily you are, where you are the dispute is. The, the sir, please hear Maru me out. Raza, you sir, are lying you are again the, not on here. the TV screen sir, at the present time. It clearly says... Sir, it's a can you... Mr. Pizada, don't you call, don't you, don't you equate me with you. The UN resolution, the UN resolution, Mr. Pizada, Mr. Pizada, you are a clueless chap. The UN resolution of 13th August 1948 mentions that the three, two countries will accept a ceasefire. Pakistan will withdraw from Jammu and Kashmir and India will then seek to determine the win. If you have been doctored a resolution by the inter-service public relations, that is the arm of the ISI, that is your bloody lookout. It doesn't change the resolution. The resolution remains the resolution. I, uh, now, as far as we are, you can keep Padmaja. Padmaja, you asked me a question. If Mr. that Pizada doesn't go, isn't going to you allow respond. me to speak, then you yes. either let me speak or let him speak. On the national, you have to control Mr. the discussion. Because Mr. Pizada, you've been given concerned. enough He's time got to make your point. He's born it about Kashmir, you are a and that is yes, his Maru, please go on. But let me Mr. tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing that Pakistan has no given no rights to the people of so-called Azad Kashmir, which we call POK, they call mm. Azad Kashmir. They have an arrangement in place since 1949, where really Islamabad and the Ministry of Kashmir Affairs kicks them around, controls their funding, usurps their freedom, and gives them no political rights worth their name. And then they tell us, that they, we shouldn't curtail the freedom of the Kashmiris. That's the first point. The second point is, Pakistan used all of India's support, including the member from the Indian Kashmiri uh, Assembly at the Johannesburg conference to get their lady elected as the chief person of this forthcoming conference initiative. That time, it did not irk their conscience that the Kashmiris from India were voting for a Pakistani lady to take the mantle. But now it bothers them. And quite frankly, Padmaja, we should not go for the conference and let the Commonwealth and this initiative go to the dustbin and Pakistan will answer the world. We don't have to answer the world because they spoiled the party. They spoiled the party. We did not. Now we've got the support, we've got the support of Australia, of Canada, of Sri Lanka, all of them saying that what Pakistan did was unpardonable. <coughs> it is something which just reeks of pettiness. Any engagement between the two okay. countries is not going to be possible if this is the atmosphere that Pakistan builds up. If this is the atmosphere, uh, I think you fail to miss the point altogether. Pakistan is actually trying to do you a favor. Today, if we invite the speaker of the Jammu and Kashmir Assembly, tomorrow we will be forced to invite the speaker of Khalistan. We will be forced to invite the speaker of N N Naxalites. We there is no Khalistan. Sir, there is no yeah. Khalistan. On, this on, is a democratically on, elected assembly. What are you talking about? Khalistan is also an elected member, sir. <coughs> 
Sir, sir, I'm Padmeja, sorry. With due respect, okay. that Padmeja, is we should not invite, comparison. We should invite the Baluchi parliamentarians. We should invite the Baluchis and the Baltis for a conference to India and let, her, let them tell the truth to the world from Indian soil. Don't waste your time about that. We should have an alternative conference and invite the Baluchis and the Baltistanis and the Gilgit representatives and let them tell the true story how Pakistan keeps everybody under the jackboot except the Punjabi Muslim. All right, and final, final, final closing comments from all of our guests. We are a little out of time. Commodore G.J. Singh, ultimately, we've got just a few days left for the NSA talks to happen. Should India just wait for Pakistan to confirm on the dates and keep building up the dossier, which ultimately it's going to present to Mr. Sartaj Aziz from Udhampur, from Gurdaspur, and all the incidents that have taken place? Or do you think there's even a possibility that Pakistan may not have these talks at all because a very strong constituency in Pakistan doesn't want these talks to take place because they'll be embarrassed at the table. Uh, Padamja, I will, yeah, Padamja, I will just say it in one line that the sole purpose of Pakistan is wake up the Kashmir issue on every forum. Rest is mere commentary. All right. Final comments from Brigadier Mahalinga. Uh, as far as we are concerned, we must make a foolproof case and present it notwithstanding what I said there, until and unless Pakistan is told that it's going to cost them if they continue to do this, you have to sort of impose cost on what they are doing. I don't think they will change. I don't think they will ever come out with truth. And that has been the pattern seconds. right from 1947, program, and they will continue to this, do this. The, the, being a liar and telling a lie is in their constitution, and, and it is in their DNA. It cannot be changed. Group Captain Hali, ultimately we've got, we've got, we've got this report from the Jammu and Kashmir police. We've got confessions of Usman. We've got the NIA reports which talk about how he underwent training in Muzaffarabad, the Dorai Am, the Dorai Khas. When presented with all of this, is there finally going to be action on Pakistan's part or are we going to again see Usman and Momin <laughs> dismissed as non-entities like Mr. Tariq Pizada next to you is doing? I personally welcome it and I, we, I would like our jurists to examine it, our investigators to look at it pragmatically, and if there is an iota of truth in it, I would like them to take action. Uh, I think they will go the 2611 way. Final word to you, Maruf. Oh, Do you think that there are more such people like, uh, uh, like Mr. Hali in Pakistan? Faint glimmer of hope or too much to ask? No, no, I, I, I said it in the beginning, Padmaja. I said it in the beginning and I'm saying now, that there are many good men in Pakistan who have their heart and integrity at the right place. The problem is the final arbiter of all decisions is GHQ Rahul Pindi. And if GHQ Rahul Pindi finds the stink is going to come to their door, they will block yeah. it. Which is the as we've seen with well, the episode. Period. Absolutely, and if you have to, if you have to really figure out what, what the stand of GHQ Rawal Pindi is, you just have to compare the responses of Mr. Sartaj Aziz when he was in Ufa and when he was back in Pakistan, and how he did an about turn on everything the two foreign secretaries had said in Ufa in a joint statement. Thank you very much for joining us on this debate. To all our guests from India and Pakistan.